I became Minecraft's most corrupt spy, but not for the reason you might think. You see, before the server started, people were already making alliances, and out of fear of being left out, I joined a group called the Ballers. Now, when I made the decision to join the Ballers, I assumed it would be a fair group, an equal alliance between all members. But immediately, one member decided that he was the leader, without any vote or say from the people. Now, I don't know about where you're from, but here in Canada, we call that a dictatorship. Now, when the server first started, I was completely broke. But on this SMP, everyone began to have a shard, and the more people you kill, the stronger your shard becomes. And since there was no way I could traditionally kill someone, I resorted to becoming a corrupt spy. My plan was to build a fake base with a trap inside of it. When I showed my client that base, I would try to get them into the trap. If I could kill them using this method, I'd become more powerful than I could ever dream of. There's just one issue. Everyone just seemed to ignore me. I was begging everyone in Discord and on the Minecraft server to let me spy for them for free. But no one would. I don't know why people aren't trusting me. It's almost like they think I'm running a scam operation. <laughs> Finally though, I received a message from a player named Dyprax Giga, who is in need of some information. Dyprax wanted to know the location of the Ballers Alliance base. Here I had to make a decision. Should I give him the coordinates of the Ballers base? The team I was planning to betray? Or should I create a fake base so I can try and become more powerful by killing and leveling up my shards before I attack the baller's base? So this is the base I built. My goal is to get die to come here and then you'll die to like a simple pitfall trap I made. Uh, I just sent him the coordinates, so let's hope he comes soon. But he didn't come soon. I was forced to wait 30 minutes before having to log off and go to school. And by the time I got back, He'd come and design trap. Oh no, it's so annoying, okay. With me not being able to kill him, and my scheme most likely being leaked to the rest of the server, it was time for me to try the ultimate challenge. It was time for me to raid the baller's base. I hired my friend Darkmer to help me, and we began to prepare for the raid to define the beginning of a revolution against the corrupt government of the Ballers. This right here is an official document from Chuck. This document represents the fallout of diplomatic relations between our two parties and his official declaration of war. Okay, ready, follow me. You are, you're gonna have to shift while coming down. Here's the TNT, we're, so pretty much I'm gonna give him the book, then we're gonna start playing TNT quickly, blow it up, and then we're gonna start swinging at him. You have sharp four. Yeah, come down, crush. Actually, I can come down on crush. You gotta come down, crush. Yo, okay, there's two of them down here. I'm, this is gonna be tough. Do we just, uh. If there's two of them, we have to get strong from one of them. That's true. Okay, wait, t tell when you place it. Tell when you're ready to light it. I'm rushing down there. Are you ready? Okay, ready? You ready? Okay. Go. Go, go, go. Crit him out. Wait, crit him, crit him? Oh, shoot. No, no, no. Run. Run. Oh. Dark, no. Oh. Shoot. <laughs> this was the worst idea. While we may have both died, we forced the ballers to have to relocate, leaving behind many resources. And we showed resistance against the corrupt leader and begun a rebellion.